Hi, in this brief tutorial I'm going to go through a satin stitch. Now a satin stitch is a great filler stitch for filling in noses on soft toys, soft toys, soft dolls, um, rag dolls. It's a great stitch for eyes. So this can be worked in a triangle, in a square, it can be worked in a circle. And basically it's just, it's like a running stitch that's done right next to each other. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be using three strands of black embroidery floss. OK, so three strands. Now I'm doing it in black. Um, so if you can imagine, say this is a nose or an eye. Now, I know it's a small little rectangle, but it's if you have a circle, if you've got a half moon shape, if you have um, a triangle, anything that's on the front or on a doll's face. Um, and then you can fill it in. You, this stitch works really well for that. Now, what I'm going to do is you can do it in two ways. If you're going to do it flat like this, you can put a knot in the thread at the end and pull it through to the back. Or if this was actually on the head of a doll and the doll was completely made and stuffed, you can actually run the needle in through the side of the fabric like this, right up to, say, the area that you want to start stitching and pull it through and what that would actually do is that would embed that actual thread inside the head of the doll yeah that's only if you're doing it that way if you're going to do it flat like this I'm actually going to start with a knot in the thread now this means you can stitch the face before you assemble the doll the other way you would be stitching the detail onto the face after you've assembled the doll or the softy now, to start with, what you do is you look at your shape, you bring the needle in from behind, embedding the knot in the back, and then I want to fill the shape, so I'm going from this end to this end, and I'm just going to create a stitch. Now, while I'm doing that, I want to push the needle out the other side as close as possible to where I actually came out when I embedded the knot. that's that all right now make sure not to pull this stitch too tight because it is just literally to fill it's a decorative stitch to fill a shape if you pull it too tight you'll end up squeezing the fabric and it'll give a completely different look right so you go again across and you work the needle to come out as close as to where you came out the last time because what you're basically doing is you're filling the space with the embroidery thread. Okay, so that's that. Now we work down to the next one. Again, coming out over. As you can see, okay, it's filling. Okay. Now. And I'll do it one more time. And again, across. And this is why I used three strands of thread because it actually, because there's three strands of the thread, they'll actually separate out and they'll join up quite nicely. And you can see there, this is the back. That's where the knot is started. And then you would just continue that all the way down, filling whatever area that you wanted to. And that is your satin stitch.